tonight's game, Indiana <laughs> and New York. Let's let's just move it right on. The Knicks are six point favorites against the Pacers. The good news here is I think we're going to get two teams that are fairly well rested. And the total is 217 and a half. It's a high total because we know that the way the Pacers mm-hmm. want to play, that should sort certainly dictate the outcome of this. Are, are the Knicks laying too many points here in this game against Indiana, or have they just proven at this point in the garden they're a dangerous team? Yeah, I guess I would lean toward the minus five and a half, but I'm not going to play it. I, I think I would be more inclined to play the total. I know you mentioned that it's a – a relatively high total compared to what we've seen from these Knicks games in the playoffs so far in that first round against Philadelphia. I mean, those totals were down around 200 or maybe 205, somewhere in that vicinity. But that being said, I would still go over because of what you said. The Pacers play at a, pun intended, I guess, paced up level. And yes, the Knicks are going to try and slow things down. But look at these teams three regular season meetings, all right? We had totals of 266 in their first Mm. game, 204, so that was low, and then 236, another one that would have blown away this total that we have in front of us. The Pacers in those games averaged 123 points. So, you know, while I do think the Knicks are going to win, if not game one, definitely the series, I am a a believer in the Knicks play and Jalen Brunson in particular, I just think he is on another level right now. And it surprises me on the heels of four straight games in which he scored at least 39 games that you can get a a total on him at just 33 and a half points. So I'd probably hammer the over on that. But 217 and a half actually feels a little bit low compared to, again, just the way these teams played against one another in the regular season. Okay, fair enough. You know, and and I felt that way about this total tonight, too. I don't like overs generally, but... I saw that Denver had 99 points in game one, and I was like, wait a second, Adam, that's not going to happen again tonight as the Timberwolves won game one, but the odds makers are telling us uh, that ain't happening again. They've made Denver five and a half point favorites, which is even a little bit higher than they were in game one. The total again, as I said, 205 and a half. Adam, I can't remember the last time that Denver was down 0-2. I'm going to guess it was pre-Jokic or early Jokic, but uh, that that's what's sort of on the line tonight. Yeah, it hasn't happened in a little while, obviously. I don't have exactly when in front of me either. But the case in point, and we saw this when Denver won the championship last year, you know, prior to that, there were early exits. And it was a lot of people questioning whether Jokic could ever get over the hump. Will he ever win? But what has, you know, I think been ignored a little too much is the fact that how often did he have a, a full core around him? He had that last year for the first time ever in the playoffs. They win the whole thing, and honestly, relatively easily. This year, yes, Jamal Murray is banged up, but they have their full contingent. We'll see if Murray plays in this one. If he doesn't, larger opportunity for Reggie Jackson, more responsibility for the likes of Joker and Porter and Gordon. Even Aaron Gordon had six assists in the first game, so that is uncharacteristic for him. I like Denver in a bounce back. I thought game one was a a little bit strange. It was sort of the opposite, quite frankly, of what we saw in the Lakers series in that Denver led at the half, And then it was all Minnesota in the second half. Anthony Edwards was incredible, you know, and has been throughout the playoffs. Wasn't that first round series against Phoenix? Will continue to be. The question is, if you're Denver, can you slow down everybody else around him? So I I just expect another close game. While I do think Denver would win, I wouldn't blame anyone for going Minnesota with the points. All right. So finally, if you're going to take the Nuggets, if you believe the Nuggets are going to win the championship, Adam, isn't it time to do that right now? Because they're plus 480 on the money line. If they win this game tonight, you're not going to see this again, I don't think, for the rest of the playoffs. Now, Boston's a favorite. It just depends on how you feel about Denver and Minnesota in this series, I guess. Yeah, I I would be inclined to agree with that in part because I think Denver should be the favorite. Obviously, the Nuggets need to emerge from this series. But if I'm looking at a Boston-Denver NBA Finals, and I I say this even with some Boston bias, I think the Nuggets should be the favorite. The Nuggets, to me, are the best team in the NBA. And, of course, they are the the defending champs until they're not. And we'll see what the Celtics situation is with Chris Tapps Porzingis long term. So there are still some questions. But the West is a tough, tough conference to get through. It's not going to be easy for Denver, be it this round or even in the next against likely OKC. All right. Well, appreciate you coming on as always, Adam. Enjoy the games tonight. All right. Thanks a lot.